The arrests follow the killing of the army chief who was reportedly killed by his own bodyguard at his residence in the capital Addis Ababa on 22nd June. It was reported that the attack was linked to the assassination of the governor of Amuhara a few hours earlier in the region's capital, Baghdad. This didn't sit well with people from Amuhara who started demonstrating and causing chaos in the city. So far, more than 50 people have been arrested after an alleged coup attempt in an Ethiopian region. Several suspects were being questioned in the state when the alleged coup happened. Nation Movement of the Amuhara is an ethnic or nationalist party essentially campaigning to advance the interests of the Amuhara people, Ethiopia's second largest ethnic group. Apart from the army chief, four other officials died as a result of the violence and funerals were held on 26th June. The alleged leader of the coup, Brigadier General Asminu Tsige, was shot dead on 24th June. Tsige was a member of the party ruling Amuhara region, the Amuhara Democratic Party, ADP, a member of the ruling coalition Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front, EPRDF. He had a reputation for hardline ethnic nationalism and had previously called for the Amhala people to have greater autonomy. There has been an increase in ethnic tensions and violence since Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed came to power last year and introduced democratic reforms. The arrest of dozens of opposition supporters happened in the capital Addis Ababa. This is Bridget Manoka reporting for Lunta Television News in Lilongwe.